Hello, my name's Laura Downey and I'm an image consultant with House of Colour. If, like me, you're working from home due to social distancing measures, it can be very tempting to stay in your pyjamas all day. But I want to share with you some top tips on how to maintain a professional image if you're doing video conferencing. Number one, choose good lighting. Make sure you're lit from the front because if you're lit from behind, all people are going to see is your silhouette. Step two is angle your camera. People often make the mistake of leaving their phone against a cup of coffee or looking down into their laptop camera for up to an hour during a video conference. And basically what that means is that people are staring up at your chins and up your nose and nobody wants that. So if you need to, pile up some books and just place your camera somewhere where you can sit up straight and look straight into it. Step three is frame your cameo area. That's this area. Um, this is really important because it means that people can still read your body language to an extent and communication is going to flow a lot more freely. Equally, if your entire face is filling the screen, then that can be quite off-putting. Step four is to wear more than one colour and try to make at least one of those colours something that isn't navy, black, grey or beige. If you're wearing a bright colour on the screen, people will find it more visually appealing and they'll engage with you more. If you've had your colours analysed, then you could wear one of your wow colours close to your face and it will make you look less tired and bring you into focus. My final tip is all about the details and I'm going to show you this by making myself invisible over the next 30 seconds. So we are culturally conditioned to associate details and accessories and points of interest with figures of authority. If you think about pilots and their stripes, or the military with their badges and their medals, this gives you a good idea of what I'm talking about. And it's no different in the business world. So for a man, uh, these points of interest would be a tie over a jacket, um, cuff links, a watch, and their haircut. And for women, it's quite similar. It would be a jacket or a structured cardigan. It would be um, your jewellery, your makeup and your hairstyle and your watch. And as you can see, as I gradually remove all of these details, I'm starting to look younger. I'm starting to have less authority on the screen. And I probably wouldn't be taken quite so seriously. I think if I take off the final step, Now I've pretty much disappeared and lost all of my authority. So as you can see, even if you're working from home, it's really important just to add these tiny details if you're gonna have a video conference, otherwise you're going to lose that professional authority on screen. Now, I'm going to quickly put all of that back on so that I don't lose you completely. So to recap, my top five tips for video conferencing are, make sure you're well lit, angle your camera so you can sit up straight, frame your cameo area, wear a little bit of colour and accessorise for authority. If you follow these easy tips then you can still maintain a professional image while working from home even if you're wearing your pyjama bottoms. If you found this helpful then please do share with colleagues or wider and if you have any questions please feel free to ask me or your nearest House of Colour consultant. I hope you all have a good day, stay healthy and thank you for watching.